as promised, here is the first script to create slippers, simplified slippers along turnout. So first, I will extract what I need to place my slippers. I want to do a balance between uh, complex script and some manual workflow. So here yeah, it's basic functions in microstation. So copy from the reference, create a fence, and clip everything out of the fence so that I have only the rails for my turnout. And what is important is really the beginning of the turnout. Then I have this script. I can run the few first transactions. Then I must identify the rails. So the main left rail, right rail, and the branch left on right rail. So I use by the past uh, element in range, but in this example, I want to use by element. Uh, by the way, um, the direction of the, the lines are important. So as you can see here, I uh, changed the direction of my main line rails. So then just have to pick in the field, remove what's existing, and click your element in the graphic. So it's, even there are some manual workflow before, it's quite easy to, to do and uh, understand. Be careful if you delete uh, something relative to the branch or rewind too far, it will <laughs> remove elements from the, the branch. You have to, to restart from scratch, which is not so long. So then, if everything is well set, you just have to run the script and the work is done. So here is my result in the slippers model. I have the graph where I can change some values such as the extensions of the short slippers inside, as well as the, the extension on outside in the transaction. And then I can adjust some, some values. So uh, I must measure the, the distance along the the depth tray for the last long slipper and put this in my uh, Excel file just to, to ensure I have to the last long slipper the good location. You can also edit transaction, it's good by because you, you won't add any change transaction. Just edit transaction on apply. So you can set the, the value or the range for the Excel sheet. Here, just change the last cell I want to use. So just right click and edit transaction. Then you can run all, and you will see it will change at the end of the, the turnout. You can also use the edit transaction to change the extension, which is better than using the, the slider. Uh, as you can see here, the, I refined the Excel sheet to get a better orientation of the slippers, better spacing by uh, using some calculation in the, in the Excel sheet. Um, I change the, the distance along the right rail by uh, changing the, the distance along 32 slippers to get this good result. 